Yo, yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Devon Tor in raw form, and welcome to another Help Me Devon Raw tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon Raw tutorial, I'll be showing you guys my top five favorite vocal mixing plugins. Let's get right to it. So first and foremost, I'm gonna play you the song that we're using. It's one of my own songs. Uh, just listen to the vocal and hear what it sounds like. Listen closely. You ever been so gassed that you don't know what day it is? Calling out of work, you post to work a double shift. But I'm so caught up with this person that I just don't see. It. But I can't lie, cause it was fire though, and that's what makes it toxic for me. Yeah. Okay, so you hear the vocal. It's a uh, very R&B-ish. It's a lot of hip hop kind of sounding. It's melodic. Kind of a modern day vocal that I'm sure a lot of you are uh, accustomed to hearing in modern day music. So I'm gonna show you my top five favorite vocal mixing plugins. And of course I use them on this vocal. So let's get to it. So first one that I'm gonna show you guys is the EQ. Now this is probably one of my favorite well, it is one of my favorite EQs. This is the F6 RTA EQ from Waves. I love this EQ because it has so many different things. One, it has a spectral analyzer that allows me to see the entire frequency spectrum of the given vocal or any audio signal for that reason. It has somewhat of a built-in multi-band compressor in it. That's inc it's incredible to have just as in an EQ, um, which basically what a multi-band kind of is. So it's, it's super functional. Um, it has a lot of functionality in terms of that. And of course, it works as a regular standard EQ that we all love and adore. Also has a side chain, I'll explain that, but there are so many things within this one EQ that I can just use, and that's why I love it. And it has six bands, which is great. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so as far as the RTA is concerned, check this out when I say RTA. Look closely at the actual plugin. You ever been so gassed that you don't know what day it is? Calling out of work, you post to work a double shift. Okay, so you can literally see the frequency spectrum on the vocal, and that's why I love this thing because I can actually see what's happening. And some people obviously don't care for it, but for me, I just like to know and be able to see. So that's cool to see in the plugin what is actually happening, what is peaking, what has the most energy, and what part of the band. It's really, really dope. Next thing I'll show you within it is the multi band uh, uh, function that allows you to duck specific frequency bands. That's why I keep calling it a multiband because that's basically what a multiband does. You can pick a certain frequency range and basically duck that within instead of actually even EQing it. Check this out. I'll just show you so you understand. So pay attention to this four band right here. This thing that says four. Watch this. Let's crank this here. Let's put the attack here. Let's put the release right here. And then let's bring the range down, which the range is going to say, how much do you want us to tuck this DB wise? So look at this closely. You ever been so gassed that you don't know what day it is? Calling out of work, you post to work a double shift. But I'm so caught up with this person that I just don't see. But I can't lie because it was fire though. And that's what makes it toxic for me. Cool. So it's really a, a, a cool thing it does. It actually is tucking the vocal down uh, within the EQ. Mind you, I can decide how much I want to take out of it, but I can do also use the multiband uh, function to do some more tucking or just tuck at certain parts. I want it to be dipped a little bit more when it passes the threshold. Super sick functionality. I love it for that. Okay. Next plugin that I absolutely love and adore would probably be my 1176 compressor. I love the CLA 76 from Waves. It is probably my favorite compressor for a lot of different reasons. Uh, one in particular is the functionality of going back and forth between bluey and blacky. So the blacky has a different sound from the bluey. Uh, I'll let you hear the difference between the two of them. Uh, uh, in the in this actual vocal, and it's great because you're getting two plugins for one. Honestly. Listen closely to this vocal with Blackie, and then I'll show you it on Bluey. I'll keep bypass going back and forth between the two. You ever been so gassed that you don't know what day it is? Calling out of work, you post to work a double shift. But I'm so caught up with this person that I just don't see. But I can't lie, cause it was fire though, and that's what makes it toxic for me. Okay, so when I listen to that vocal, I noticed that with the Blackie, it's a little bit more transparent. Uh, it's a little... Uh, 
It's a little smoother. It doesn't sound as aggressive and mean. And then when I put on a bluey, uh, I notice that it does feel a lot more aggressive, mean. I notice a lot of color, uh, a lot more presence. I do like the sound of the bluey and I do use the bluey a lot, but sometimes I just want something that feels a little bit more transparent. Uh, and sometimes people will argue with me uh, about the characteristics of those two, but I notice more color with the bluey. Uh, and when it comes to the blackie, I notice that it cuts through the mix really well and it's a lot more smoother of a compressor. Also something to note with this compressor is that I noticed that the threshold setting is a little different on the bluey than it is the blackie in terms of when it engages. So I noticed that if you put the, the input knob, right, at the same spot as the bluey, which basically what is happening, the input knob is at the same exact setting. I noticed that when you engage bluey, you'll get more gain reduction as opposed to the blackie. So that's something to also keep in mind with this plugin. Uh, like I said, extremely function, uh, functional in terms of what it can do. It can also do and be put into a limiter mode. And basically what you would do is you would hit this all button. And that would give you something like a 50 to one ratio. Basically it's taking all these numbers for eight, 12, 20, adding them up and giving you a really hard ratio. So you get a limiter and two uh, compressors within this. So. I I swear by this plugin. I love this plugin so much. CLA 76 from Waze is one of my favorites. Okay. Another plugin that is my absolute favorite is this Rvox compressor. Now, the thing about this Rvox compressor is that it's super simple. I mean, you literally see three faders. It's a gate, a compressor, and a gain knob. Long story short, the gain knob allows you to control the gain. The gate allows you to put a gate on, which will actually drop some of the noise uh, once the signal goes below a certain threshold. So it's awesome. You have a noise gate on your compressor, and then you have the comp. Basically, when you bring down the comp button right here that you see, you'll get more compression, but there's also the set attack and release times that you don't even have to worry about. It does it for you. There's also a peak limiter inside this plugin that won't allow it to go over that as well. So I'm going to show you exactly what it sounds like. So let's take all of this stuff off just for a moment, and I'll let you hear it just with the R-Box. Listen closely. I'll bypass the R-Box back and forth. You ever been so gassed that you don't know what day it is? Calling out of work, you post to work a double shift. But I'm so caught up with this person that I just don't see it. But I can't lie because it was fire though, and that's what makes it toxic for me. So you notice it gets a lot more control. The vocal has a lot more presence. It feels better. I love the Arvox. It just has a great sound to it. Um, it's very good for compressing vocals when I'm just trying to get a little bit more oomph and presence and get it to be on top of the beat, but still fit within it. I love this thing. Like I said, it has a set attack and release time. So this is great for beginners that are just getting into vocal missing uh, to use the Arvox because it already has a set uh, attack and release that you don't really have to manipulate and that's powerful in itself. Okay. Next plugin that I'm going to show you guys is probably my favorite. And it is an analog saturation plugin from Fab Filter. I love this plugin. They also have a Fab Filter Saturn 2 plugin that is out now, which I am on the way to get, by the way. Um, and this is amazing in what it does. It's an analog saturator. And I use this thing for vocals. I use it for my entire mix. I use this for uh, snares. I use this for everything. Long story short, what this analog saturation plugin does is it adds harmonics. It adds uh, certain nuances and color to your vocals uh, uh, when you're using them uh, for your music. I'm just going to let you hear the difference of what it does. So I'm going to bypass it first, and I'll keep bypassing it back and forth. Listen closely. You ever been so gassed that you don't know what day it is? Calling out of work, you post to work a double shift. But I'm so caught up with this person that I just don't see it. But I can't lie because it was fire though and that's what makes it toxic for me. So if you listen to that, you hear a lot more excitement on the vocal. The top end gets so much more clear without adding so much hiss. Of course, there are S's and stuff like that, which we'll get to. But nonetheless, it adds such a color to the vocal that I enjoyed and love to death. So basically what I did was I just cranked up the top half of the vocal, about 3 dB. And I love to do that uh, because it does add a lot more clarity and presence to anything that I'm using. So that's what I like to use it for. And then you can come over here and have the functionality of what kind of uh, harmonic distortion or saturation that you want on your vocal or signal. And this is what I use. I use the warm tape setting. You can also crank this right here, which is the drive and add more uh, that you want to the actual vocal. So for instance, I'll just crank this just to give you an idea what it sounds like. 
You ever been so gassed that you don't know what day it is? Calling out of work, you post to work a double shift. But I'm so caught up with this person that I just don't see it. So as you can hear, obviously you added distortion to it because it was too much, but it adds a, a heat to it. It has a sound to it and you can decide how much you want to add to it or dial back in the actual uh, uh, audio mixing as far as vocals or anything like that. Okay, last but most certainly not least, my other favorite vocal plugin uh, when it comes to mixing vocals is this Pro DS from FabFilter once again. Oh my gosh, guys, I cannot explain to you how much I adore this FabFilter um, Pro DS. This is the best DSer I've ever heard to date. I could be wrong, someone could try to challenge me on that, but this is the best one that I personally use. I'm gonna give you an idea of what it sounds like. Without first. You ever been so gassed that you don't know what day it is? Calling out of work, you post to work a double shift. But I'm so caught up with this person that I just don't see it. But I can't lie, cause it was fire though, and that's what makes it toxic for me. Man, when I tell you when I first used this thing, how amazing I it, it just sounded as far as just being able just to smooth out those S's without destroying what I the essence of the vocal in that high end, but it literally smoothed out all those S's and T's that I had in my vocal without destroying it at all. Uh it's very simple. What I like to do is I use I like to use either basically a couple of presets. I use this male split band um preset single vocal. I go right over here and I click this. And if you're having trouble with your masters, you can also come over here click mastering and vocal DSing in music. It's super functional and it sounds so good. It is probably the best DSer plugin that I've ever heard. Um, granted, I do use other DSers for other reasons, but for as far as just really taming those S's and T's, this plugin is A1. I love this uh, plugin so, 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 so much. So let me make sure I give you the F6, I gave you the CLA 76, I gave you the RVox, I gave you the Fat Filter Saturday and the Fat Filter Pro DS. Those are my top five favorite. Uh, I feel like those are must have uh, vocal mixing plugins that you can use in any DAW. They are available for VST, AAX, uh, Ableton, Studio One, whatever you're using. Uh, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. I'm gonna leave all of these plugin links down below so that you can actually get them for yourselves. Um, and if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, please email me at helpmedevon at gmail.com. I hope this helps. Make sure you follow us at helpmedevon on the Instagram and uh, just let me know. Uh, make sure you comment below and subscribe. And uh, until next time, you guys.